Hey everybody, this is Brandon from Better at Everything, and this is the first video in the 3D Basics tutorial series, and it's also part of our membership and premium area of Better at Everything. I guess I'd like to thank you for subscribing, and hope you enjoy the series. In the first video, I'm just going to show you how to set up the viewports and switch vanilla or plain AutoCAD into the 3D mode so that you can see the tools that I've got up top here. So once you open up a brand new fresh drawing, you're going to go down here to the workspace uh, switch button, which it looks like a little gear on the bottom, and you're going to make sure that you select 3D basics. Uh, to start it'll probably be on AutoCAD Classic or drafting an annotation. You're just going to click 3D basics. You're going to see that the ribbon bar up top has changed and you've now got all the 3D commands as well as rendering commands uh, put there instead of the basic drawing stuff. Next I'm going to uh, set up my viewport to the way I like. Uh, this is all per personal preference and you'll find uh, what works for you as you try out a few. So after you watch this video here, uh, I recommend you fiddle around and test out which viewports you like um, and I'll show you what I use. Typically I use three or four so to bring that up you're gonna go right here to this little dash mark you're gonna type or uh, select viewport configuration list and here you can choose your options. Uh, I personally like four equal but as I said you can change those and I'm going to set up the views in the order that I like. So this one here you can see is the top view I'm gonna leave that on the top left, I'm going to make this my front view. And on the bottom, I'm going to make this my left view. And on the bottom right, I'm going to make this my southeast isometric. So now you can see all the way around whatever object you happen to be drawing. And I'll show you really quickly with, a, uh, with just a cylinder. So I'm going to type in C for circle. And in the top viewport, I'm going to create a quick little circle there. So if you look on my front view, you can see the circle. You can see it on the top view. If you zoom, zoom, extents on my left view, you can see the circle there. And zoom, extents. On my isometric, you can see my circle there. Now, in the top view, uh, or the front view, whichever you'd like, uh, let's use the front view. We're going to use the push, press, pull button. And this presses or pulls an area. So we're going to select over here. We're going to select in it. So now we've selected inside our circle. You can go to your left or your front view and you can pull it or push it. You can see if you push down, it goes down. You pull up, it goes up. So we're going to bring it up to that line there and click. So now you've made your first 3D object. It's as simple as that. You can see in the isometric that it's a cylinder. Now to see it um, as it would appear if you rendered it, you can type, click on the wireframe button and click realistic or shaded and it'll shade in your object. So you can see you've created a, a little cylinder pretty quickly there. So that's it for this video. Uh, I recommend you play around with the settings under viewport configuration list. Uh, you might like uh, left uh, three. This gives you a bigger area here for your isometric and you can do a top and a front view here. Um, you might like variations of the uh, four three on the side and one in the one main center one for isometric. Uh, I prefer to have them all equal, but like I said, it's up to you. So play around with those, find what you like, and continue on to uh, video number two in the series for 3D Basics. Cheers and thanks for watching. Bye.